In this presentation, I will review the features of the People tab. Once you have loaded your family tree, go to the People tab. Here you will see the pedigree view, which is highlighted in yellow at the top left of the window. You can see that I am in the number one or root position on this tree. To view someone else on the tree, navigate to them and click on the person. You can expand to an earlier generation by clicking on the arrows at the far right of the view. Click on the person you want to work with. It will highlight that person in blue. If you double click, it will open an edit window for that person. I'm going to select the next icon at the top left of the view. This will take you to the family view for that person. Now we can see Jesse's family. His wife and children are under his name on the left and his parents are on the right. Each child's known spouse is listed to the right of their respective names. By clicking the white left pointing arrow, you can collapse the menu on the left. This just gives you a little more real estate on your screen to work with. You can also adjust the window views by hovering your mouse on the dividing lines and click and drag to adjust them as you like. From this view, you can double click on any individual to open an edit window. This is a second window, so if you have multiple monitors, you can drag it over and see both the family view and the edit window. Here is the edit window for an individual. From here at the far right, you can add and edit notes, sources, media files, tasks, and addresses. By clicking on the icons or topic in the right panel, you can then edit and add to your heart's content. At the left is listed the person's spouse and parents. You can move from person to person by clicking on the down arrow and selecting the view option you want. In this window, you can also assign people to groups and or create a new group, as well as add a web tag. You will notice the right panel will change depending on what you select, and that is where you edit or add information. The facts associated with the person's life are listed by age. There is a box on the top left where you can click and toggle on the family member's events to be shown in this field. It is called the Show Relative Events. When you are done, you can close this edit window by clicking on the X in the top right corner. Click on the plus top right of the window to add custom facts to a person's life events list. Click on the three vertical dots next to the plus to delete a fact. Select the fact you want to delete first. See other setting options for how you view facts or to copy the family search ID. You would need to sign into your family search account to have this option available. You can also view and edit the basic details of the highlighted person's life under the details tab. Now click on the parents tab. Click on the children tab under the parents name. Click on rearrange children. Here you have some options to arrange how you view the family. Select and move the individual up or down in order to sort by birth date. Click on this option. You can see the family ordered by birth date now. You can add a child to the family here or here. Click on plus add child. Fill out the form with the information you know and click OK. They are now listed in the family. Sort as you prefer and click OK. Click the three dots by a person's name. You can edit a person from here too. Click edit and it will open the edit window for that person as shown here. You can unlink a person from a family. Use this if the person exists but belongs somewhere else in your tree. Click Unlink. This window will open describing the highlighted person who will be unlinked from the parents. Click Unlink. Now George Dempsey is no longer shown as a child of Barnett and Winifred. When you type the name in the index, you can see George Dempsey is still a person in your Roots Magic tree, but he is no longer linked to a family. You can delete a person from this pull-down also. If you click Delete, the person is deleted from your Roots Magic tree. Click Delete. You will be prompted by this window if you mean to delete the person selected. Click Yes or No. Now click on Spouses. This is a good way to view multiple spouses and their respective children. The spouse has the same three dots. You can edit, unlink, or delete from here. I have used the unlink option most often if I get a spouse or child linked to the wrong parent or parents. Click on the children tab. 
you will see all of the children listed for this couple. If there are multiple spouses, they are listed under spouses, and you can select the spouse whose family you want to view. If you right-click on the highlighted person's name, you will get this pull-down menu. From here, you can choose to edit the person, add family, delete family, unlink, arrange position, color coding, and do a manual merge. Click on Manual Merge. This window will open and you can manually select which person in your tree to merge with by clicking on the Select Duplicate Person. You can also swap the position so the one under Primary Person is surviving after the merge. The plus is another place you can add family members. The trash can icon is where you can delete a person or an entire family from your tree. The pencil icon has a variety of options to edit or rearrange the people within the family you are viewing. Color coding is how I add a color tab to individuals as seen in this view. These are used primarily for your own reference. For example, I am using Lime to indicate if I have added all my research to them, red if I need to do more research, pink if I am in process of adding my research to the person or family. When you click on color coding, this window will open. From here, you can choose which color and which people to color code by selecting and unselecting the various bullets. The wrench, screwdriver icon are tools you can use. Some of these tools include relationship calculator, date calculator, merging tools, and the problem list. You can control what to flag as problems by exploring the problem list. For instance, if a person marries before the age of 16, you set the age or died after 100 years old, again, you set the age, etc. When you have a problem flagged, you can indicate a person is an exception to the problem list. You can view those by selecting not a problem list. The three dots next to the tools will allow you to view and edit the fact type list. Do a search and replace. Say a place name or surname spelling and show tasks you have added to a selected person. Now let's go back to the icons at the left of the window tab. Click on Descendants view. I love this view. It has a great overview of the family and all of a person's descendants. Now click on People list view. Here you can sort each column by title. Click on Couple list view. Now you have families listed by couple, marriage date, and place. I can see I need to find quite a few marriage dates for my ancestors. Note the people list and couple list is everyone on your tree. Thank you for viewing this video. If you have any questions, you're welcome to email me. And good luck on your Roots Magic family tree.